Couple of firsts, buddy. First shoot of the year, and first shoot with Steve Nizwicki. You got it, bud. <laughs> What's it gonna take to catch these fish? It's a fantastic game, but sometimes it's one of the most frustrating oh. you can get yourself into, man. Oh my God. Whoa! <laughs> you wow! This is the absolute best. There's not much fishing that's more fun than Whoa. seeing the fish, getting it in front of them, and having them attack it. Whoa, Steve. Whoa! If you don't go after him, I am. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Garmin, join the club. Mercury Outboards, go boldly. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. This week's Fishing Canada adventure takes me to the gorgeous Pleasant Cove Resort in Point of Barrel on the angler's paradise that is Georgian Bay. Though our travels have brought us to this region before, this trip marks a number of exciting firsts. Couple of firsts, buddy. First shoot of the year and first shoot with Steve Nizwicki. You got it, bud. Steve Nizwicki will be familiar to Fishing Canada viewers as the former owner of one of the all-time favorite destinations, the Chaudier Lodge on the French River. In his duty as a lodge owner and guide, Steve entertained, in more ways than one, countless fishing legends, and ultimately proved that he could stand shoulder to shoulder with the best. And the Bruce Lee, the Bruce Lee of the musky rod. Ah! Nobody loves fishing more than Steve. You wanna give him a kiss or should I? I love those. No, oh, don't do that. And now, he's bringing that love of fishing along with his signature charm and skills to the Fishing Canada show as an bye official co-host. Fishing with my friends. Enter stage right. <laughs> Such a knob. <laughs> on this trip, we're setting our sights on some dun, nice dun, Georgian dun, Bay pipe. Ow! Dun, 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 dun. But you know what they say about the best laid plans. <laughs> Cue the fish, Pete. Cue the fish. <laughs> the spring of the year can be feast or famine in the world of fishing. Time it right, and things are going to go gangbusters. Time it wrong, and the old arms are gonna get pretty tired of constant casting and reeling. On this particular trip, I didn't realize that the pike season opened well before the rest of the adjacent region. Steve and I got there at the absolute wrong time. As luck would have it, we were there in what I call post-postspawn, essentially two weeks late or two weeks early. This varies from season to season and is highly unpredictable when setting up a fishing trip. Essentially, we as anglers have to make the best of the situation. A tough one to swallow because I know for a fact there's giant northerns here. That's a good eating sized pike right there. Excellent. You could, you could uh, get a couple of nice little fillets off of him. And you know what? I really prefer northern pike over walleye. A lot of people say. say that. Yeah, that is a perfect size eating fish right there. As finicky as they are, you get to see them. They follow your bait and then you're catting and mousing, right? Yep. But Oh yeah, you're ready. Oh, there's another one there, in behind. You saw another one behind me, or right here. You? He's right here. See him? Oh yeah. Going yeah. out front. Yeah. So they're here. Why are they not biting? Is that him right there? Yes. He's still sitting there. Yeah, he just turned. Get there your is. bait out. Get your bait out there. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Although we were tormented by actually seeing plenty of big pike. Hooking up had proved to be an yep. unexpected challenge. There's the other one. Look at right there. Oh yeah, right on top of that rock. Oh, geez, look at, look at the size of these things. And now there, you just turn. Oh, there, 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 there. Peaking his interest, bud. All right, buddy. That's a better fish. Yeah, that is. Damn a, right, that's a bigger fish. Yeah. Come to the prom, you big girl. Hang on. Hang on. <gasps> that's a good one. What's it gonna take to catch these fish? Now? We got one in the box, buddy. That's it. Good job, Stevie. Take a breath. Wait for it. Wait for it. Assume hook set position. I've either got a northern or a smallmouth. 
We haven't seen a smallie in here. No. I haven't seen anything in here. And feeling wise? It's small. Oh, no, it's a nice it's one. It's an order. Yes, it is. It's not bad. It's yeah, not it's bad. a four pounder, bud. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, you know, we can net him. Yes, we can. <laughs> Good job. Oh, we've been working all day. Eh? We've been working all day. I've only got her by one hook, Pete, and she's ready to go. It? Oh, there we go. She's ready to go. Well, normally we wouldn't net these guys, but you know what? I'm gonna net them for Stevie. Well, I can get them beside the boat. It's up to you. No, oh, you're gonna get them in the net for you there, like that. So that we got one in the box, buddy. That's it. God. Oh. Wonderful. Good work, Stephen. Thanks, buddy. Oh, that's the toughest pike we've ever had to come by. Oh, there hey. she is. Oh, you fish. Yeah, beauty. Good work, Stevie. Yeah, like I Final. love. I love northerns too, eh? They're cool looking fish. They are. Such eh? a predator. Beautiful. But you know what? I mean, they're such a finicky fish for a predator too, right? He's got all those teeth. He's they're finicky, man. Finicky. Unreal. <laughs> After these few <laughs> days, I'm gonna say they're more than finicky. It's like musky fishing. It's worse sometimes. Worse. Cause, all right. Because you're seeing them and they're not biting. There. Well, I, oh, she took off. There she Good goes. Good job, right to the Stevie. Bottom. Right to the bottom. Now that's a thumbs up. It's quite a game you play when you're trying to figure out fish. Hey, Stevie? It's a, it's a big it's pretty game. pretty bizarre. It's Quit. a fantastic game, but sometimes it's one of the most frustrating oh. you can get yourself into, man. Oh my God. You work so hard <laughs> to try and find them, and when you do, <laughs> you can't hook them up. But we did this one. <laughs> Good man. So back to work. Good man, buddy. <laughs> I love it. With only one day remaining of our first trip of the year, Steve and I decided it might be better to go back to the drawing board. Okay. So, Stevie and I is in typical spring fishing, water temperatures in the 50s, let's say, have just got our butts handed to us, so to speak, on pike. And we tried a little bit of walleye, you know, and it still didn't work out. Things were not, it's a transitional period. Okay? They've, they've done their spawn thing, both species. They're now in this transition mode, not making any excuses. They're there, we couldn't catch them. Come on, I mean, WTF, <laughs> Stephen. I know. We're, we're, we're like, we're, we're working, we're working hard. So, on our last day of the trip, we said, you know what? We got this remaining day. Why would we go out there and flog all that water for something that's not happening for us, and uh, instead try something else? What's it gonna take to catch these fish? And guide Blair McCaffrey told us about going to Perry Sound and trying for the rainbow trout in there. And uh, that's what we're gonna do now. We're heading in to Perry Sound. We, we picked the boat up. Is it, tw what is it 20 minutes is all it was? 20 minutes from Pleasant Cove. From Pleasant Cove. So we just yeah. put the boat on the trailer, Drove down here, launched, and we're working our way over towards some fish. And uh, we're gonna give our a, a shot at these rainbow trout. There's some stock trout in there, and there's some escapees. So we're gonna show you the pens too. We're gonna go way over and look at where these uh, holding pens are that they raise trout here. So I'm assuming that that is the most active pen, or they're feeding at that pen. Like that, we took, took a ride over here just to see what this looks like. And, and these pens are, are later in the year pens, apparently, uh, down somewhere back there, the, the fish are in these other pens, holding pens in some warmer water. But as the summer comes on, this water is the coldest water. They'll move the fish from there out to here. And these are the holding pens for all these rainbow trout. What happens is in like the ocean with salmon, etc., is they'll escape from here. Who, who knows how they get out of these pens, but they get out and they hang around these areas. And then these are fishable fish. So I think we're going to have a, a bit of fun. Oh, I'm looking forward to what the jailbreakers, buddy. With little uh, spinners or cranks or what are you going to do? I think, uh, I think I'm going to uh, go with uh, little spoons. Yeah. And uh, and possibly uh, tiny uh, uh, suspending uh, crankbaits. Yeah, no yeah. yeah, absolutely. Wow! Listen to that one rip. That's a screamer, buddy. Ah. Oh, that's a nice colored fish. Look at that. That is rainbow. Is rainbow scat right there, folks. So I'm gonna give a good tip to the people right now. When you get a new guy in your crew, you say no beer the night before a shoot. Okay? That's all I'm gonna say. I didn't buy it, and I wasn't the one that suggested it. Beer it is, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I feel that uh, I'm being painted with the wrong brush. You've been painted with a beer brush. <laughs> <laughs> nice. How'd that sound? Oh, that sounds <laughs> wonderful. How good is that? <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh this spot on a day like today. Cast, get out there. Double up on me, buddy. All right. Double up. 
Let's have some fun. We're des we deserve this after the work. Oh, that's a nice colored fish. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at that beautiful rainbow trout. That is rainbow as rainbows get right there, folks. So what I'm going to do maybe here, Stephen, I'm gonna, if I get them in, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep one of these guys to eat because I love eating fish. And rainbow trout are a nice trout to eat. They're, they're not like a greasy old lake trout. No, I know people's going to get mad at me saying, I, I eat lake trout and love them. But this, if you're going to eat a trout, a nice little rainbow trout like this guy, it's just a nice solid little two, three pounder, whatever it is. Um, they make, and you can smoke them, you can barbecue them, you can fry them, pan fry them, whatever. So I'm going to put him in the live well if I can get him in. Peter, you're making me hungry. I know, buddy. You know rainbow trout's delicious, eh? When you order trout at a restaurant, they give you a rainbow, 99% of the time it's just rainbow trout. He's going to be a good eating fish. Look at the size of that. Just a small little rainbow, but that'll be the perfect little size. I'll fillet him and I'm going to pan fry him just to try it. But I think it's going to be awesome. Um, there's bigger than that here, apparently up to four. You know, they say three to four pounds. So that's probably almost double the size of this guy. Acrobatic, fun, and hopefully tasty. Wow. Listen to that one rip. That's a screamer, buddy. Oh! I'm a screamer. Oh, <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, so now, just to let you know, the sun is coming out. It's warming up nicely, and they're still biting. Just to let you know. And, and we're here in the end of May, so just to give you an indication of timing, too. Wow. <laughs> that drag set real loose, buddy. It is very loose. <laughs> <laughs> Don't reel against the drag. All right. Never reel against the drag. Just to let, give you a little tip. Really? Um, Yep. That's something I've always done. No, you, you do the pull and then the reel like that. Right there. Let them run that and I'll tell you, you know why? Why? Because what you're doing, if you're reeling against the drag, this, this, this line stopped, this is spinning, you're twisting your line. All you're doing is twisting oh, your line. Oh, I gotcha. Like, no, unbelievable how bad it gets. Especially, braids not so much, but mono and floral, you're euchred if you do that. So that's a tip for everybody else. If your drag, if the fish is pulling on a drag, or whatever, and you're reeling in here, zzz, 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 you're making a mess for, for the future. So pull and then reel, pull and then reel, like Stevie's doing now. That's a good one. That's a, that's a beastie one. It's a beastie, it's a male too. <laughs> no, the females are the uh, silver ones. Are the, right? are the, uh, the males are the colorful ones, right? Is that what yes. you said? Yeah. This is a female, this is nice Ooh, and silver. Anchor, buddy. Yeah, she's a, she's a beaut, a but, and they just- Watch you reel up, watch you. Just let her run and then reel. Again, just pull and then reel. You know, if you touch the spool a little bit, sometimes you just put a little pressure on the spool with your hand if you want, but don't put too much on it. And you can let her, you can tame down the runs a bit that way. <laughs> Perfect. Whoa! He's still not done. <laughs> He's still not done. This is the most fun I've had in years, man. To get to Steve's and my great springtime fishing adventure, we first took Highway 400 north from Toronto to Highway 69. We continued to travel north through the small town of Pointe Barrel and then turned left on North Shore Road, which took us to the four star, four season Pleasant Cove Resort. If you're looking for a fishing resort that doubles as a family vacation destination, this is one to consider. We've been coming here for years and have never been disappointed. Shedding? Are you shedding already? I, I'm shedding a layer, ah, but you are like you're like freaking walrus or something, aren't you? Yeah, you I'm. Did. I'm part uh, polar bear. I've, polar you know bear. what? Polar bear. Yeah. You know that's exactly right. I put on a lot of winter weight, as you can tell. You're still a handsome package to me, buddy. Oh, Peter. I love you. Put your life jacket back on. I gotta. <laughs> <laughs> All right now. <laughs> I don't get them. Yep. Good boy. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look at that thing go. Peter, this is so much fun. You know, this is this is this is sight fishing, is what it is. Because oh, yeah. I saw him come to the top, cast it about 10 feet behind Look at this him. This fish, he's doing circles. I know. The last two fish we've encountered, we're seeing, we're seeing them start to surface. We're trying to troll them, oh, trying to catch them. It. It. He dropped it? Yep, he dropped it. Oh my god. What do we got to do? Funny. Oh, he's on oh, there. He's, he's there. on there. He's, well, <laughs> he's just going crazy, man. Maybe he come back for it. Well, I don't motor. know. Watch the trolling motor, Stevie. I'm doing my I'm best. It's off. 
That's a oh my God. strong little fish, eh? Yes. What are we gonna do to land him for you? Here, let me go down into the, into the sump. He's coming around now. Oh, buddy, look at that thing. Look at that beautiful me? fish, man. I don't want to stick my finger. Oh, there he goes. Perfect. Last three fish we've seen surface, we threw to it, cast to it. It's like sight fishing, like Steve said. Absolutely. So we might be onto something real fun for today. Oh, for sure. I've, I've lost three so far, so this is going to be a, this is going to be a blast. Got one. Oh, got one. Oh, nice job. They're on fire. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at these things. Freaking <laughs> <Even> maniacs. <laughs> oh God. So Stevie got his on a spoon, and I got mine on a little minnow bait. Look at the silver on this. I'm gonna give you a hand there, Peter. There we go. He's nice done. Nice job. He's done. We didn't. We're not really prepared for this, but luckily we we brought some small baits that can be bring spinners for walleye and stuff like that. And in our box, that's the, little, the stupid little minnow bait I'm throwing. I don't even know what that is. And we've had it probably. Angie and I have probably had it in our box for 10, 20 years. But it looks perfect for trout. And just throw it out there and, and give you an idea around. of the size of the spoons that we're using or I'm using here it's tiny <laughs> it is really tiny and uh, I'll tell you there's not much fishing that's more fun than seeing the fish getting it in front of them and having them attack it that's awesome trout at that <laughs> oh. Whoa! Did you see wow! Come four feet out of the water. Oh my God! I officially love these fish right now. I, I officially love them as well, Stephen. This is fun. You got soaked. Whoa! Yeah, baby. This is so much fun. It's it really is. Like we're like two kids in a candy <laughs> store. And it's a beautiful fish too. There you go. Ooh. Awesome. I love the splash. Perfect. Oh, oh yeah. nice. look at that guy. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. That's the colors one that's we want right there. That's the color. That's a nice male. Oh, oh man, look at that fish. This is the absolute you best. Can't, you can't beat this. He's still not right done. There. He's still not done. This is the most fun I've had in years, man. <laughs> if you don't, if you come to Pleasant Cove and don't do this for a day, uh, I will be very mad. Look there it goes. <laughs> Green. Because that is fun, man. Why, why are you not casting? Because I'm waiting for you, man. It might be a while. My drag's set on wimp. Oh, he almost got me. That is, this is a blast. This is a hoot. Little eight. I got a. Whoa, see, whoa. If you don't go after him, I am. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. This is so exciting. These are nice three, four pound drones. Peter, I feel like they're going to jump in the boat. They're so close. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Oh, ho, ho, ho. No, oh. he's just, look at that. Three, three in a row. He's a sailfish, here he comes again. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at the acrobatics on that fish. Not much wonder he's broke out of jail. I'll come Good around one. this side here. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, no, come on back over here. Not just fish, dude. They're just okay. muscles. And they just roll. Yeah, like that right there. Yeah. Like, I mean, I got them lassoed now. So, the there, color. look at that. Get a nice look at them, and then I'm going to release them right here, right in the water. There we go. Good work, Steven. Easy. There you go, buddy. Look at him take off. <laughs> yeah, I love this. This little fishery right here, Perry Sound, is unbelievable. We've spent three hours fishing and we've come in contact with so many fish in two or three different ways. It's unbelievable and it's so much fun. And this is something that you can do with your kids. It's easy. They're here, they're eating, and I love it. For this episode, we're gonna give you two hot spots, one for pike and the other for rainbows. As for the pike hotspot, it's very close to Pleasant Cove Resort, making it a quick and easy boat ride to the waypoint. Trust us, there are nice pike in this area, even though we didn't score. The rainbow trout hotspot is in the vicinity of the rearing pens near Perry Sound. 
This is a generic waypoint, so use it as a starting spot and work from there. We used casting as our primary fishing method for both species on this episode. Trolling is also an option. For more waypoints like this one, check out fishingcanada.com. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Garmin, join the club. Mercury Outboards, go boldly. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Closed captioning for this episode was brought to you by fishingcanada.com the gateway to your next fishing adventure.